that's not good. We're running about 380 pounds head pressure there. Okay, so we got us a cooler here. It's warm. Thermostat's set at 40. I can feel the solenoid is hot, so it should be open, letting the refrigerant through, and the coil's dirty. So that needs to be cleaned off yet, so we've got to go up on the roof and see what's going on. So it's very windy out here. Make sure you guys are strapping your ladder. So we get up here. It's not running. First thing I see is a high-pressure switch there. Can't help but wonder, have we tripped out the high-pressure switch? And look at that. So the fans are running. I can feel some massive heat coming out of there, really. I wonder if uh, those coils are really dirty. That's not good. We're running about 380 pounds head pressure there. Got a head pressure control there. Looks like it is a LKC4. Can't really get my hands in there very easily to uh, feel on it whether or not feel how hot it is coming through but I mean it's definitely hot kind of curious here if we uh, looks like somebody else has probed it I put the door up the cover up here and it kind of held it sucked it in pretty good I was able to pull it apart a little bit and it looks like it's full of crap in there I'm looking through and I'm not seeing any daylight so I'm gonna see if I got water available. If not, I'm gonna nail this thing with some nitrogen and blow it out. It's definitely not gonna last long at that. Okay, so they have a wash basin in there we can tie into. I've got a 75 foot rubber hose and I've got two 50 foots and then I got another 50 foot. So we we'll should be able to hit that thing no problem. I use the Husky little straps here. They work out rather well. So got that there and then Use a little adapter like they used to use for uh, water beds and stuff like that. So that allows me to get onto the uh, spigot and adapt onto it. So basically this right here. Just put that on there and you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and get that on there and we'll wash that thing out. Get all the gunk out of it. Went over there, tried to get out the door, can't get out the door. I got an adapter here. This could be very dangerous, so I don't recommend doing it. But uh, that's the reason why I use a hose that doesn't have an end on it. Otherwise, the regulator cranks it down so low and slows your flow down to the point where it just doesn't come out fast enough to really get a coil clean. So we're just going to have to blow it out because uh, otherwise they got to run quite a bit of hose and we'd have to run it through the drive through window. So I'm not dealing with that. We're just going to blow it out. Okay, so I blew it both directions. I don't have my GoPro up here. See what kind of difference that made for us. Yeah, it still ain't that great. I can see daylight through it, so I'm starting to wonder if my headmaster be acting up. Might be the issue. It tripped again. Got your hot gas coming into the condenser coil, coming out of the condenser coil, coming into the bottom of the headmaster control. That's going to be our first probe. That's going to be what would be normally our liquid line. You have the hot gas coming off the T coming into here and this is going to be going to the receiver so we're going to reset it and if we got a lot of gas coming through here and not a whole lot coming out of there okay this is my liquid and this is the hot gas which in reality if it's deadhead in there it shouldn't be traveling down here getting hot so we can reposition this over here on the receiver. Well, it's interesting here. The liquid coming out, coming out the same temperature as going on through the valve. Yeah, so our liquid coming in and going out is the same temperature. Basically just hotter than heck. This right here is going to be our hot gas. running 170 something so our headmaster is not acting up Let's see what we got almost 80 pounds 404 need to convert that my uh, chart here because I don't remember exactly what that comes up to be in that's my fans aren't doing their job 
That one's a little stronger. Yeah, they both feel like they're pulling it out. I'm kind of curious to know what my pressure is there. If maybe I got restriction going on through the uh, headmaster, but I doubt it. Uh, pretty much the same pressure up here. That's not good either. So 80 pounds comes out to being about 35 degrees, which the cooler is very warm. But I blew that out even more, and you can see right through those. Checking the amperage, these are rated for about a half an amp, and I checked the capacitors. They're both a little weak, about half. They're supposed to be two, and uh, basically they're one and a half and 1.4. So I held on to them. I moved the blades back. None of it seems to make a difference. Today's about 85, 90 degrees. Discharge temperature is 175, and the liquid temperature is 120. So, yeah. Makes me think the fans are an issue, because everything else pressure-wise looks pretty normal. I hate changing them, though, they look like they work good. Now, you got to remember, this is shooting at 60 frames a second, so they look like they're not moving very quickly. It's because of the uh, frames per second that the phone's recording at. Basically, I think it might be something to do with my cooler being so warm. Because 36 degrees saturation on the suction there. Suction's high, head's gonna be high. Came down some. I'm gonna go down there and clean up my evaporator while this thing's dropping in temperature and see if that comes down. Because like I said, it's it's warm in there. It's 70 plus degrees in that cooler. Okay, thanks to the brush and the Milwaukee sweeper. We got a nice clean coil now. It looks pretty good. So we got her all cleaned up. That'll move some good airflow through now. We're gonna go up there and see what, uh, what kind of pressures we got now as this thing's starting to drop. Looks like 50 degrees area, 52 degrees. All right, so we're about 91 out here. So our condenser temperature is 120 coming out. So we're about 30 degrees over ambient as far as our actual liquid temperature. Still awfully high. But, yeah, it's coming down some. Still just feels like fans could do a little better. I've got an RPM gauge, tachometer. I can check them to see if they're spinning the speed they need to be spinning. But since I've got to do a PM on the HVAC over here, I might just go ahead and get me two new capacitors and get two new filters for this thing. Then we can check this thing over, which it's working good. You can see her sweating. Downstairs, they got it like an igloo down there. So we'll check the belts and things like that, but you can see she's sweating pretty good. Need to finish checking a few things on that yet, but it's coming down and it's not tripping now. 350, so it's coming down pretty quick. And it's supposed to trip at 418. I think it's tripping a little sooner than what it should, too. And that's slipping pretty good. You can see the arch. Yeah, it's got the slippy slip going on there. At least they're using a clog style belt. Not horribly war. You can see the burning belt going on in here. So I need to tighten that up. You can see these are getting pretty bad too. Yeah, looking a little dirty. So, may just blow them out for now until we get back out here and get them in. Doesn't need to be replaced. Let's see how our makeup air is. It's got a little bit of an opening there, not too bad. The back don't look horrible seen worse. Okay, so we got that tightened up. It's a lot better. Might just see if I can make it to the supply house in time and get this done. Go ahead and clean that out. Make sure, yeah, see it's got all kinds of crap down in there. That's not good. So I'll clean that out real quick. Yeah, look at that nasty stuff. Clean that hole out there. There we go. A lot better. Yeah, I don't know why they, it's too much work for these 
contractors when they build these buildings to put a water spigot up here on the roof so that we could actually wash these things out and maintain them. You'd think of all the codes and stuff that they worry about the stupidest things. They don't worry about the water. Kind of like dryer vents right beside the air conditioner in the house. All right, so I replaced just one to see if it made a difference. And we're already down to 330. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the other one be done with it. You can see all the oil on this. That came from somewhere, and that's likely the motor. So we're going to change that, and hopefully before the storm hits. So we're a hustle hustle here. Wow. Brought her down to 310. Yep. So it's made a huge difference. Got everything all strapped up, looking good. Clouds are going to hit here any minute now, so we're going to get this sucker back together. Got to throw these filters back in for now. I didn't have time to change them. We're just going to have to come back. Everything's going to be closed by now anyway, and uh, they'll be fine until then. It's not like they're plugged solid. All right, guys, so it's going to wrap this one up. Got it all back together. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and have, replace that pressure switch because it only hit about 400, so it's off about 20, 30 pounds. And with the way things are, I really can't have, you know, that tight tolerance. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just get that pressure switch replaced in addition to um, everything's dropping in temp and it's coming down quickly. And then we just got to come back anyhow for that. And you can tell it's doing really good. It's pulling the, the nasty well, humidity out and everything. So just pretty much in about the nick of time there. So... It's going to bust loose any minute now. Alright, so it's slowly coming down. It's, there's a lot of liquid in here that has to drop in temperature. So you've got all of this. It was all at 70 degrees, I think it was, when I got here. So it's coming down quite a bit. It's going to take a little bit of time yet. But that's going to wrap this one up. If you guys like the video and you want to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.